Alrighty then. <clears throat> Welcome uh, to part two. Um, I actually uh, recorded part two yesterday. So this is part two, take two. Because I recorded it and I played for like an hour and there was no sound. So I fucked up. So, uh, what I did was, when you record with Fraps, because I'm recording with Fraps, and your microphone is unplugged, if you open Fraps before you plug in your microphone, it doesn't register that it's there. So, and there was no sound at all. So, here we are. I've played this, I've played about, um, it took me an hour to get to where I was, but I don't think it'll take me an hour to get to where I was again. I was hoping to have, you know... I was, I'm a little disappointed in that, uh, but it's kind of a blessing because I got interrupted a couple times. I was cycling through menus a lot, trying to figure stuff out, um, and I got uh, like I got a phone call from my boss. I had somebody knock on my door, so this time no interruptions, and I get to go through. No cycling through menus. I figured stuff out. So here we go. This thing right here is a checkpoint, it turns out, where you can level up your character and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. You just press... Uh, the back button or whatever, your menu button and go into character development. When you're near one of these red things, then you press LS or RS to uh, level yourself up. So I want some spells, so I'm going to put some of my experience, I have 1895 experience, into my spell points. So now I can get prayer. Uh, and this makes a decoy that attracts enemies and uh, it gives me, it recovers my energy. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the level of that. And I'm going to hit accept. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to level up attribute, attri ugh, attributes. So I think I want some strength because I don't think even though I'm an endurance, agility, deceptive rogue, I do want some strength because I don't like being a pussy. So let's put some money into that. Strength, and then um, I'm gonna put some money into faith because our money experience into faith because uh, you have to level up your faith in order to level up your spells. So I can't get to level two or level up any of these other spells until I think level 12. See how it says level 12 faith requirement next level, level 12 over on the right under the picture there. So Mimic needs level 12, Stab needs level 12, Shift needs level 15. And I really want Stab, so that's what I'm going to go for next. Alright. I think I just did a really amazing explanation of that. I can't wait to hear what that sounded like. So you're welcome, guys, for that expert analysis. You can just walk through these because they're all burnt up. Alright, so let's move on. Like I said, I, asked, I already played Part 2, and I actually got to the next boss. Uh, so this is going to be kind of a, I'm going to run through this like I know what I'm doing, because I do know what I'm doing, and hopefully after that I won't screw up again, because I want a nice, uh, authentic first run through this to put on YouTube, so. Yeah, I know how to do a special attack, foo, I've been doing it. Why is it saying this? Oh yeah, I got a lock on. Stab you, stab you, stab you. See, it's cool because you put your thing right in his stomach, then you go up to his jaw. I like that. Oh! What happened? How did he get knocked over? Right. No matter. Nice. Soon after banishing the god, the three men that were known as the judges parted ways forever. Apart from their common goal, they were very different in every possible way. Three statues were built for them on the square of the judges, displaying the distinct paths they had taken. These statues hold a secret as if it were their heart, but it is retained by the stone. Only the shard of heroes could make that heart beat, and only an unearthly force could tear it out. So I guess that guy was talking about me being the unearthly force. This is not oh. this is not ideal space to fight this guy. 
I need more space. Oh man, these guys are tough uh, to send at you in the beginning of the game. Jeez. Oh, I gotta get this guy in better space. Let's see if I can get behind him. I turned up my graphics too a little bit and uh, I'm not really experiencing any lag, so I think I'm in good shape here. I like these graphics, I like this brightness. I'm just gonna fight this guy straight up. Maybe not. Each successive victory stacks up your chance for a better loot and gradually increases the experience yield further on. Okay, so the more I bank my experience without spending it, the higher uh, chance I have of them dropping loot and they drop more experience. That's good enough. I'll bank it later. I'll probably bank it after I feel like I got enough abilities and enough attributes to uh, kick some ass for a little while. I don't feel like that right now, so I'm gonna just... Nope, treasure chest here. I'm just gonna use, uh... Ooh, something good. I got a monk staff. Yay. Not gonna use that. I'm I got the warrior armor uh, before when I was listening to that audio log. Uh, I'm not gonna use that because it's all heavy and I wanna be light. I, I might equip some medium armor, but I wanna make sure I stay nice and light. Yeah. Those guys are really easy to backstab. The we road, can't stand against such hard. forces much longer. We must find a place to hide. A place with walls and soldiers. Mighty Antanas, we will be on our way. Please prepare for a few dozen refugees. All right. Oh my god, look at all these audio logs. What exactly were the lords? Well, I'm a lord. They wielded power beyond our understanding. They fought fiercely and they blindly followed the guard. Anyone who tried to talk to them, reason with them, failed. The Lords would not come to discussion. They came to serve their purpose. They lead the Rodar army against the people. So Lords are pretty cool, I guess. Too bad I'm gonna have to kill them all. All right, cleric armor. See, they got medium armor. So right off the rip, you know, you can pick warrior, you can pick cleric, you can pick rogue, but they kind of give you the they kind of give you the option to. Uh, be any one of them right away. <laughs> you know, I mean, I could just go ahead and level up and stuff and be like a warrior. So anyways, uh, Cleric, uh, see how my armor is 1.75 weight? I, I like that. I don't want to go to 4. It's too heavy. So I'm going to put on the Cleric helmet because I have my Rogue helmet and it's 0.7. The Cleric helmet gives me more defense, uh, gives me poise, and gives me poison defense. And it's only like 0.35. It's not even one whole weight heavier. So that's cool. So I'll put that on. And it's kind of badass. Which I dig. What else do I got? Um, this thing's kind of hard to circle around. Um, cleric feet. How much better is that? Oh, that's a lot better too. Let's put on some cleric feet. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. It's like a million times better. What else? Let's just go through. I'm not gonna equip the staff. I'm not gonna. Actually, the staff does a decent amount of damage. Let's see. What does that say? Whoops. Agility requirement eight. Wow, that's actually pretty good. We're gonna check the staff out. That's the kind of. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Oh, cool! Yeah, check out my cool helmet now, too. Dig it! Alright, let's go. Oh, loading screen. <coughs> that was horrible. Oh, man, I don't got it today. That was much better. <laughs> All right, sunlight. Let there be light. I can breathe. 
Oh, nice, another checkpoint real quick. Let's go to that. I don't really think I need to even spend any experience. But let's see what I can do. I've only got 486. Oh, I can actually get another tribute point. If I wanted to. Oh, I forgot to level up my strength. Let's do that. Whoops. Whoa, what does this mean? What? I don't know what that means. Oh, these are, uh... I'm sorry. These are, uh, things that I've been finding. Boar. Anyways, um... A. Strength. Put money into faith. There we go. Accept. And you have to hit accept in order for it to apply. Very good. Um, alright, let's move on. Alright. And those checkpoints, you level up there, and they fill up your potions. So it's just like a bonfire in Dark Souls. I'm gonna try and not, I'm gonna try and not to compare this game to Dark Souls, but it's, it's just so similar. It's really hard to. Like, I mean, uh, it's basically Dark Souls and Darksiders. Like, Darksiders gives you objectives, but it's just a critical path, and kind of an open world. This could turn into an open world. It's not right now, it's just a path. But Dark Souls, you don't get any objectives, and it's much more open world than this is. This is just straight follow the path. As of now. It could open up. Wow, look how much damage that does. Three hits, and they're out, cold. I like it. What if I two-hand this thing? Wow, look at how fast it swings. There's three bad guys right now? Oh, that's kind of bull crap. Oh, he's coming at me! Oh. Nice, 27 in one hit. Oh. Relax. I'm gonna get backstab on you and it's gonna hurt a lot. Come on, come on. There it is. Oh, cool! Oh, right in the electrified balls. You like that? Awesome. I wanna electrify your balls next. Oh, where are you going, dude? Nice. This thing is pretty badass. Although, it leaves me open for attack, which kind of sucks. Consumables. Apart from consumables holding up, see. You can toggle between your favorite items. Check items in your inventory favorites. Well, let, what items are in my inventory? Let's see. Inventory. Potion, fire shards, increases fire to resistance. Increases energy. Ghost bird shard. Brings back your ghost and it's stored XP immediately. That's really nice. Um, when you die, uh, you drop your ghost, I guess, is floating there. And then you have to go back to collect your experience because you lose it. And then you collect your experience that, that you've had, you know, at, at this point where your dead body was, just like... Dark Souls, but in this, if you don't get there fast enough, then you start losing the experience and it starts disappearing. You don't get the full 100%. So you want to get to it really quick. So what that, what that shard does is it makes it so that, uh... God damn, this guy keeps doing that attack, which is really hard to detect. This attack is my favorite. Uh, I, my frame rate dropped, though, so I couldn't get behind him easily. Look at how nice this is over here. You got a nice view, buddy. Oh! Uh. Eat it. Yeah. I love how I <laughs> That's awesome how I stand there like that. So this is a pretty good view. Oh, there's a bad guy over there. There's a bridge right there. I bet this guy shoots projectiles at you if you don't kill him. There's nothing up here, though. Oh, what's cool is I get to relive some some parts because, uh, like I said, I've played this. Oh, shit. New bad guy. This guy's a little faster. This guy does some circling around. He's got, like, a short sword and a shield. He does a couple of different attacks. Oh, like that one. That one does a ton of damage if you let it hit you. That one probably would have killed me if, I, if it hit me. I'm gonna have to heal again. 
At the checkpoints, I can refill my potion, so I might have to go back and refill it at some point. But I'm not worried about it right now. Oh! I think there was something up there I missed. Whoops. Wrong button. There it is. character. Hello. You help me, please. What happened to your hand? Spider venom. It burns like Adir himself touched it. Rip the wound and suck the poison out. Too late. It already spread. There's only one way to stop the venom. Separate the poisoned limb from the body. You want me to cut my arm off? You're a madman! You'll see the judges soon, then. I can't. I won't. It's in your hands. Yeah, I'll cut your freaking hand off, guy. All I'll right. cut it right the fuck off. On your head, be Oh, sweet, it. an axe. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I owe my life to you, stranger. <laughs> Wait. You're not one of the monastics. That's one tough Mark guy. Mark right He's a tough guy. your face. A gift from the court. A reminder of my sins. Please. <laughs> put the axe down now. Nope. I'm gonna keep it. Find yourself a healer. You need someone to patch you up. You won't hold long in this state. I am the <clears throat> healer monk here. And yes. I see the irony of the situation. You must have supplies. I do. Yeah. They're in the laboratory, but the place is full of Rogar beasts. It's no use. I won't make it there in this condition. Mm. Take this potion? Ugh. Here, take this one. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. You're welcome, asshole. Only because you let me cut your arm off, and that was hilarious. He cut his arm off, he's like, ah! <laughs> I'd be like, ah, ah, for like a really long time. So this guy's a badass. He didn't even, he barely cried. Look at him. He didn't even tie a belt around it or anything. Didn't even uh, cut the circulation. <laughs> Thank you. If we both survive to see the Keystone Citadel, I hope our paths cross again. Yeah, me too. So you can give me like your stuff. Okay. And uh, he gives me that ax, which is kind of cool. Because it's better than the staff in every way. So, that was fun using the staff, though. But now I got a cool axe. Alright. Let's keep going. Hopefully I can cut some more dude's arms off. Let's see if I can get a backstab. Gotcha. <laughs> Nice. Whoa, relax, guy. Not even down there yet. Still rolling into benches and stuff, trying to find. Oh, what the heck? How did he get up here? Whoa, 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 whoa! He's frantic. Oh, look at that. Boom! The axe is sick. I'm gonna keep this thing for a while. Two handed. Whoa, that's a really slow swing. Wow, that was a really, really slow swing. <laughs> I won't be uh, using that. I won't be using. Oh, oh, that's a little spider guy. It's spitting poison at me. Oh, one hit, nice. Ah, that little dick. Ah, Jesus. Nice, at least they're only one hit. Oh, change your chest. Take that guy. Hot blood, hot blood armor. Nice. Let's see what that is in a second. I always press start, and I'm supposed to press select. 
or back button. Um, hot blood. <clears throat> Excuse me. So hot blood is light. So that's good. And it's only got one point. It's eight seven weight. And if I compare it to my rogue armor, oh, how cool! I can take my rogue armor off and be naked. Not gonna do that. Uh, it's one nine two 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 two. And then this is gives me another poise, gives me more defense, gives me more poison defense. So yeah, that's a no-brainer. Definitely equipping that guy. Although I lose my cool cape, but that's okay. I think I look pretty cool. All right. Anyways, so I think if I go up this way, my objective is to find Castle, because somehow he managed to just like vanish into thin air. Okay, that just takes me right back here. Alright, so I've got a new weapon, I've got a new helmet, I've got new armor, I got new shoes. Nice. Finding a ton of crap. Well, this guy's obviously gonna get up. But we're gonna go after that guy first. Oh! He's shooting projectiles. He's a bad guy. Oh, oh, oh! He's got a little dagger. Wow, that was actually pretty bad. He hurt me. Oh. 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 Another seal of the rune. My frame rate's dropping a little bit. Oh! Yeah, it's so weird. Like, if you, uh... Get up close, you just kind of like. <laughs> At first, I thought something was going on. I'm like, what the heck is going on? But that's its way of seeing through you, I guess. You turn into particles. Alright. Thank you, creators, for doing that. So I could see. Anybody here? Anybody here? Shh! Jesus. There's a dead guy right there. Costco! Are you the. Ah! Give away our position. I don't really care where to find this guy. I don't know why I'm even trying to find him. I'm in the monastery. What else do I need him for? Alright. Whoa! Shield up right on time. I heard his little grunt. Next stab. One hit. Oh, yeah, sweet. One hit. I wish the attacks were a little bit faster. That's the only thing. When, you, when, you, when I swing this thing, I don't, I don't even feel like I'm doing damage. I wish I felt power. Yeah, I'll open the chest by putting a rune slot into it. It's totally fine with me. Live attribute point shard. Live elements leg armor. Live elements head. I don't know what, what the hell. I didn't get this in my last playthrough. The one I messed up. Medium head armor. How do I compare? Details? Oh, there we go. That's how you compare. Eight defense, one poise, 0.25 more. It has an empty socket. I don't know what that means. Physical defense. Yeah, that's cool, man. What else did I get? I'm still light, so that's good. I didn't get any armor. Live elements. This is kind of heavy. My rogue is only 0.7, so this is a whole nother weight. But I'm still light. Let's compare it. Whoops, 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 whoops. Alright, so it gives me one more poise. Three more to defense. Magic defense. It gives me all kinds of good stuff. Okay. I'm down with that. Uh, let's see. What else do I got? I got the feet. So now I'm not I'm not gonna put on the feet though because uh, it makes me medium weight. Actually, I might rather put on the feet than the hands. Let's see if that makes a difference. 
Yeah, so the feet are better than the hands, so I'm going to keep the feet on. Yeah, that's a lot better. What else did I get? Anything else? Okay, cool. Nice, so I got another helmet already. Check that out. Sweet. Cool. And I'm still light. That's the goal. It's just maintain lightness. Ninth night on watch. How could the Rokar get inside the sacred walls of Easton? Appeared out of nowhere. The graveyard is swarming with them. I need to alert the others. It's locked. I need a key. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought that was a backstab, for sure. Oh, my frame rate. It's dropping. Right, there we go, it's getting a little better. Doesn't like the outside, apparently. All these snow is falling down. It's kind of hard for my graphics to handle. It's okay, though. It doesn't mess me up too bad. Backstab. I wish I could hit him that third time before they hit me. Oh, I was trying to pick up that item. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, nice. This is view. Sick. Heal up. I got one more potion, so I should be okay. Oh, nice. Another chest. Symmetry. It's all heavy, though, so I'm not going to even try to equip that. I wonder if I can sell the stuff for, like, experience points or something. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah. Right now. Right. That's locked, it looks like. is a unique weapon that uses magical energy of various range. Try experimenting with three firing modes. It's definitely worth crafting later. I'll take your word for it. Now, if you look real carefully, there's a dude up there. See him? Right there? Where that black thing's falling? I see you. But I got a projectile, too. Ow! Crap. As if one wasn't enough. No, one is never enough. Oh crap, it takes two to tango. Oh, you see that arrow go whizzing by me? Come on, come on, come on. This guy's gonna shoot me. Backstab. Oh, nice. Oh, I got hit right in the ass. Oh. 
see if I can get him. Can I get him? Can I lock on? Yes, I can. Alright, sweet. Yeah, that's the thing I just picked up. Look at how much damage that did! Nice, he uses your magic. And I don't have a whole lot of magic, so I can only shoot it twice and then I gotta wait for my magic to regenerate. Q. Oh crap! Lock on! Don't, don't kick. Nice. You got owned. up here? Huh? There's no barrels. Oh, my spell's ready. Oh yeah, I got my freaking uh, prayer spell. I have any... Oh, there's stairs down here. It's a secret. Mighty Antanas, I've found traces of a Rogar Lord that was once known for his preoccupation with the physical form, and his shield being no less than a weaponry masterpiece. That's most peculiar, as I would never have suspected Rogar to care for it. No wonder Damn he it. had the most dedicated followers in all the battles he commanded. Yeah, no kidding. I'm gonna use my magic. So this is prayer. And see, he's all distracted with it. And I can, so I can get a backstab easy. And I have uh, regeneration. See that symbol above my uh, health bar there? That means I have energy regeneration. See, it disappears though. A little while. So that's cool, that magic rules. It's very helpful against one guy, sometimes against two. I haven't really used it much, experimented with it much at all. And, and when I played last, when I messed up my recording. What is that, a blacksmith? Lethal secret short sword. This is awesome. I'm getting so many weapons. Uh, it does less damage, but it does weigh a whole lot less. It uses less energy. <clears throat> Agility scale. Oh, so it has scaling just like um, uh, Dark Souls. Okay. So see how it says uh, agility scale 3% and then under the Butcher's Axe it says strength scale 8%. That means that when you level up um, your agility, this will do 3% more damage, I'm assuming. And when you level up your strength, the Butcher Axe will um, do 8% more damage according to your strength. So if you have 10 strength, it'll do 0.8 more damage. I'm, I'm assuming that's what it means. Which is cool because uh, scaling is super important when you're choosing weapons. See the attack speed though, 120% as opposed to 75% and critical damage. It's, this is pretty good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to equip the short sword and check that out for a little bit. Yeah, I like speedy attacks, man. Yeah, that's this is my strong attack. Look at how fast that is compared to that butcher. Two-handed. Let's see. Oh, you, they, you have two. Sweet. You're gonna mess with that a little bit. I'm gonna go up here and save it though before I continue on. Ah! I'm kind of badass. So this is just another shortcut. Then. Let's see what this is. This is terrific. Pain, I got a hammer, and I got the chest armor of the life el elements. This is crazy. I'm getting so much stuff. I can't even keep up. So, live elements. It's a little too heavy. Let's see. Oh, it's so cool, though. Oh, my God. All right. I'm not equipping the shoes. There we go. I'm, now I'm light. Sweet. I wonder if that was really worth it. But I don't care. I look cool. Yeah, check me out. 
matching outfit. I feel like they're giving me too much armor right now. This is ridiculous. Look at me! I look completely different than when I started. Yeah, so... Oh uh, yeah, I'm back out at the main wall now. Yep. Let's see that, because I'm not that direction. Okay, so there's the save point right there. Alright, so let's hit up the save point, and then we go back down there. Oh. Where is it? Where is what? Back off! This doesn't concern you. Don't mind me then. <laughs> what was that about? They're liars, and worse besides, not only did they steal my family valuables, but they've hidden the pathway. Oh, yeah? The pathway? A door to places otherwise unreachable. Places that hold secrets, and secrets hold power. I was on my way there when the Rogar appeared out of nowhere. Why are you so sure it's still here? It's in the Book of Lineage, and the book does not lie. Oh, yeah? The pathway. A door to places otherwise unreachable. Places that hold secrets, and secrets hold power. I was oh, on my I way there when... Why are you so... It's in the... <laughs> <laughs> not paying attention. You sure those friars stole from you? I've always... Oh, I'm sure those it. friars stole from you. Don't be a fool. The men in here are just as twisted and corrupt as the people outside. I bet Antanas, this savior, allows it. They've bled the villagers dry over the years. They think people forget that the truth gets buried with the bodies they helped create. But they're wrong. I know what they did. All right. This is a monastery. No women allowed. Ooh. No criminals allowed either, but here you are. If it's to be an Inquisition, tell me about that constellation on your ugly face. Ah, uh, I thought not. Let's both keep our secrets. Are you calling ugly? Did I call you ugly? I must go. I must suit yourself. <laughs> I must go. After you insult me. I must go. Excuse me. What else do you have to say? You again. Maybe you want to help me out. No, I don't want you to see, help you. You see, I'm looking for a dagger. Poor craftsmanship, simple, rusty. Seen it by any chance? Yeah, why should I if tell I've you? If I've seen it, what profits me to tell you? Yeah. Because you overgrown turnip, I know a lot of things turnip. about this place. Things that you might find useful. Maybe. This place, this monastery we're standing in, it's been built to seal off something. And I have a key to a secret entrance to its catacombs. Whatever. Nobody calls me a turn up and gets away with it. Do I strike you as a man who cares? <laughs> you look like my mother's worst nightmare. Big mouth, little girl. Yeah, bring it. This little girl will break your neck. I am Yetka, and I'm no one's little girl. Yeah, right. Break my neck. I can see you can pick on helpless, defenseless priests and throw them off the thing. You can break my neck. Look at my armor. I have the most badass armor ever. I thought you were looking for the Look at these shoulder way. pads. Why go after a worthless dagger? It's an heirloom. It means a lot to me. With the help of my book of lineage, it can point me directly to the pathway. Does it sound like your business? No. Back off. I don't care. I don't care. You're right. But if I find that uh, dagger, you better give me that key. That's all I know. Oh, anyways, I haven't even used this yet. Uh, let's develop my character a little bit. I have 2,600 experience. I kind of want, kind of want some more strength, so I can have some more, some more weight. Too much strength because I can't help it. I want strength. Uh, and I want faith. Yeah, let's do that. And then, uh, yeah, let's just do that. I'll accept that. We'll just keep it there and I'll, I'll just hold on to it over a thousand experience. 
That should be fine. Uh, so let's go back to over here where I didn't discover before I move on to the next part. I only got three expo potions for that. I didn't go down here. Let's see if there's anything. Whoa! Whoa! Um. Oh! Nice. Short sword. Get short sworded. He has so much HP. He has like so much HP. Oh crap. And he does a lot of damage. I don't know if I can beat this guy. Oh, I should have attacked him. Nice! The short sword is badass. Yeah, I can beat this guy. He's tough. Oh my god. But I can definitely beat him. I just need another potion. Oh, I didn't use it. Another thing is, in between attacks, you want to lower your shield so that your energy can re rise. So, uh, if he's not attacking you, there's no reason to have your shield up. So, he's pooping. What was that? I'm poisoned. I'm losing HP. He put poison. I missed how much experience it gave me. I'm gonna have to look at that. Uh, he made me use all my potions. My potions. Oops. Oh, nice. There's a treasure chest. I was gonna say, there's gotta be something down here. Come on. I got a great hammer and a magic shard. Keep pressing Y to roll. I think Y is the roll in Dark Souls. That's an A in this game. Alright. See, it's crazy because I didn't even discover any of this. And it was kind of a blessing that I uh, saved over or my recording got messed up because I didn't discover any of this stuff. This is great. Like, I, I've discovered two areas so far that I ha didn't discover in the last video. This is very dangerous. Well, geez, which way do I go? I have a bunch of ways to go. Yeah, I like this a lot better than the axe. I like how fast it swings. I guess I'll go this way. What's he doing? Why'd he get back up? What the heck is this guy? Thought I saw a door back there. I'm gonna die. Leave? That's weird. I don't wanna leave yet. Let's see what happens if I go the other way. This is crazy. Whoops. That was the wrong one. I'll just use all my magic. Outer passage. When you sprint, it is possible to raise your shield. If you run into an enemy with it, it serves as an attack. Well, that's good news. I don't think I want to be here yet. Short sword's backstab too, because it's just nice and simple, real quick. I guess let's go in here. It's locked. Okay. Alright, so I'm satisfied. I'm gonna go back to the save point and then uh, we'll call it an end to this one. Um, cool.
cool. And then we'll move on to the next part. And uh, I don't know why it told me to leave down here. I don't want to leave this area yet because there's still stuff to do. I got a bunch of stuff in this playthrough. See this, uh, I really like the second part a lot better than the first part. The first part started out a little too slow for me. I didn't really like the first boss very much. It wasn't impressive. Bad guys, whatever. But this, you, you really get a lot of action. You get a lot of uh, killing dudes. It's very cool. Let's see how much experience I got. I got 1,700. Let's level up real quick before, before I call it a quits. Uh, we'll put... Uh, we can level up twice our faith. So let's do that. There. Now, any other experience I get, I can put and see how faith requirement next level 12 on stab and mimic. Now I can get stab or mimic. mimic or I can raise my prayer to the next level. But I want to get stab or mimic. Cool. Well, thanks for watching part two. Part three, we're going to go through those gates. And after those gates, I... I'm really excited because I did that part, but I didn't do the part after. So we're going to check that out. And then we're also going to check out that leave door down there and see what that's all about. So thank you for watching part two. Join me again for part three. Let's see what happens next in this game. This game's cool. Thanks, guys.